Hi, Darren Brown here, and uh, I wanted to show you how to segment your um, mail. Okay, so um, your actual like, if it's a web art or get response, if it's um, mailing boss. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to be working on a webber, <clears throat> and pretty much what I'll show you on a webber, you can pretty much do on any other uh, auto responder or your mailing system. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shrink the screen down. And we're going to jump straight into it. So this is my Aweber account. So you see here I've got 11,024 subscribers. <clears throat> In the last 30 days, we've got 82 people that have gone onto my list. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you uh, a few things. So what you need to do is you need to come along here and click on subscribers. And this is how we're going to make a segment. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to click on name and you'll see that it says 20 subscribers on this list. Okay, so actions. So we want to select all 1361. So for some reason, it's only allowing me to have 1361 on here, but we'll do that anyway. Okay, so I'm just going to segment this because this is the challenge list. So I'm just going to segment this anyway. Okay, so you'll see that. Um, it comes up with now 1,361 subscribers. So the next thing you can do is click on actions and you're gonna hit tag. And then in your tag, you will want to put, what I do is I put unopened and then put today's date. And the only reason you do this is so you can actually see it, okay? Uh, so unopened, okay? And then what we're gonna do, what I found, this is, I don't know if it's a bug, but for you to actually apply, you just need to either click out of that screen, okay, so it adds that tag in place, or if you hit an enter, uh, it will then add it, it's because it creates a tag, and then enter, okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to hit apply, okay, and then you want to go, so success, your tag action is processed and check the status bulk action, so what this will probably do is it will take anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes for all of those tags to be added in. And then if we go to tag and then what you can do now is you can put if the tag is not or is of these or includes any of these then you can put something else so if it's this then it's that okay so that's that's how how you do that okay but what we're going to do now is we're going to put another tag anyway okay so we're going to go back here and then I'm going to tag them again, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another tag. So I'm going to tag these. I'm going to go back to 1361. Now go to action, and then I'm going to tag again, and I'm going to put in here. I'm going to put opened. And then I'm going to put today's day again. And the idea of this is, and you'll see that, as soon as you click that it then comes up with the apply okay so the idea of this is where those tags are in place when i send out anything through my list so say for instance i'm going to send a list now okay so if we go here click on uh, messages and you'll see that these are a couple that i've sent out so this one i've sent out quite a few times um and i've Basically, you just schedule it. So where we've got this one here, okay, so if I want to resend this again, it says five days ago, this one was four days ago, okay. So um, let's say for argument's sake, I'll tell you what we'll do, let's just do one, okay. So let's go and create a message. I'm going to use drag and drop. I'm going to do HTML anyway, but I'm going to show you how you do that, okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on here. I'm just going to grab some information. Just grab this bit here. Copy this. Grab it in there like that. Control V. And then I insert. So I'm going to put. membership put a little emoji uh, 
like that. Okay, and then we're going to just make the size a little bit bigger. 18. And then I'm going to put a call to action. Now, what I'm going to do is, so I've got a better chance of getting this through to more people, uh, I'm just going to keep it all text for now. Okay. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a link, if you like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on here and I'm going to put click here for more info. All right. Highlight that in a minute. But what I'm, going to do, I'm going to go over to here, Master Membership Pack, which is this one here. So this is the one that I'm going to be sending. Let's just check it. I'm going to send a webinar. I'm going to do the webinar. So if I go type in master, search, there it is, master webinar. So I'm going to be sending in this one. And this takes them to a webinar which I've done. And then literally they can join the webinar and then it gives them a 48 minute and tells them exactly all about my master membership. Okay, now incidentally, if you are interested in this, this will be below in the description. All you've got to do is click on master membership and you can actually get to see this as well. Okay, because um, it's full of lots and lots of information that might appeal to you. So we're going to, do, we're going to close this off here. So now we're going to do is go back in here. And now we're going to paste this. Okay, so I'm going to paste this in here. So I'm going to highlight this. Click on this link here. And I'm going to paste that in there like so. And then I'm going to hit OK. And then what you do now, okay, is copy this. And then you see this bit, it says plain text and auto. Click on there. Just paste that. I'm just going to bring this up. Okay, that would be fine. And then you see that I've got the link in there, so I'm going to hit done. Okay, so that's done. So now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to save and exit. Okay, and now I'm going to schedule this post. Okay, so this has got two tags on it. Okay, it's got the tag for unopened and it's got the tag for opened. Okay, so what I do is I tell it, so we click on schedule. And I'm just going to, you don't really need to use these, but I do anyway. Okay, and then I'm going to click on here. I'm going to send it to my active. In fact, I'm going to send it to added in the past year. Okay, so that's going to open it up a little bit more. I'm going to send it to my list here, okay? And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to apply that. And then I'm going to check for automation. I'm going to click on edit. And it says here, do you want to add tag automation? So if a, subscri if a subscriber opens this message, okay? Uh, on message, open. So what I'm going to do is I want to put in uh, a tag. Okay, so I'm going to put my tag, which it comes up with, it remembers, which is this one here. All right, so on message open, I'm going to put opened. And then what that's doing is that's then telling that if a subscriber opens this up, it's going to move this, this particular subscriber to opened 1409-2022, right? Now, if I wanted to, I could create another tag for this. So, like, click automation. So, if a subscriber clicks on this link, um, and it could be this one here, then what I could do is I could have this set up where I could have a tag... And then I could have a tag that sets up like a five or a seven day autoresponder. And then that's just going to keep sending it out to them every single day to see if I can get Miva onto the actual uh, webinar or that they've seen the webinar. 
but then I can use it to help um, get a sell through the actual master membership. So, you know, there's lots and lots of things you can do this. And of course, if they've seen this, so see, click automation. If a subscriber clicks on this link, so what I normally put with this is I put um, opened, and then I normally put opened master. So that's my link I put there, okay? And then what I could do is then remove these tags, and then you could have like uh, another tag, which could be the master membership, right? So then it's taking them off the master membership, so they're not going to receive that again, okay? So that's what I'm gonna do anyway for this time being. So with this, a subscriber opens this message, it's gonna click opened, okay? So at the moment, you saw that I marked all of them as unopened, so what that would do is that will represent that any of them that um, click on this message, they will then be moved to opened. And then when I send out the next message, if I put unopened, then they're not going to get this message again, you see, because it's, because it's uh, already tagging them that they've already opened it. So we're now going to click apply. And now I'm going to send this off. So send a messenger. And send. Okay, so that's gone off. So that's gone off uh, to my list. Okay, so that's basically how you segment. Okay, now it's only a basic segment. Okay, and what you find is if you keep doing this, um, you'll improve how many people actually start to open. And, you know, you, you'll see that um, I have a few which open and a few that don't open. Okay, and since I've been doing this, I do find that it seems to uh, make Aweber run a little bit better because they see that you're trying to segment it, so you're not trying you're not trying to just send the next one out again and again and again. Okay, so you know it works very very well. So you see with this one <clears throat> and this one here, so it gives you an idea. Okay, so um, yeah, that's that's using Aweber and that's how you can use segments to help you. Uh, and what it will do is it will help your conversions. It will also help your sales as well uh, with inside your list. And also it's a hygiene way of protecting your list um, as well. Because the last thing Aweber will do is, is it will promote or it, or it won't allow um, people to see it if you're constantly sending it out and you're not using segments. So it's very, very important to use segments because segments will um, protect your list. Okay. Cheers.